Hi, it's Jan Johnson, and thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really glad that you did. And as you know, I am here to bring you information about how to interject stories into your business to help you with your marketing, both offline and online. But today what I'm gonna do is focus a little bit more online, on the online aspect of it. You know, Everybody receives information in the form of pictures in their mind and stories paint a picture. So that's why it is so important to create stories in your conversation, no matter how you are interjecting your conversation with people. And we're gonna go a lot into that throughout the week this week in my blogs. I kind of have it planned out. So today what I wanna do is cover with you the online portion, because both offline and online is what I share as far as your marketing and your interacting with people. But today I'm gonna to go into the online portion and share with you all of the ways that you have to put your story out there online. And these are just some of them I just jotted down. Email, video, blogs, articles, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, all of these areas and then some are a place where you can make your impression because everyone has a story, how you tell your story, where you interject your story and what your story is about is what makes you be you. And people are attracted to you, especially online. It is hard to get to know people and people want to know who they're dealing with. So you telling your story is a way for them to understand that and decide if they want to interact and relate with you in your business, whatever your business is. Now you have the opportunity because every one of these arenas, you have the opportunity to share yourself. For instance, if you're writing an article, you write a little bit about yourself. In Facebook, you put your profile. In video, if you do YouTube videos, for instance, there's an opportunity to put a profile in there about yourself. Twitter. All of them have an opportunity for you to put your profile. And so when people come to see about you, they're gonna go in there and check it out. Just the other day, I had a guy contact me that I knew from 12 or 13 years ago in Canada. He reached out to me. I was thrilled to hear about him. I love this guy. And I'm like, oh, how great. I haven't thought about you in a while, but I think so much of you. So I immediately responded and let him know how thrilled I was that he reached out to me. And then I went over and I kind of looked at his Facebook page and I saw that his kids who were just toddlers when I knew him had grown up and that his wife is just as cute as that she ever was. I was able to see what business his wife's in and what he was doing and the stuff he was involved in and it kind of seems invasive a little bit, you know, when you're doing that, but it's what he put out there. So I was able to relate without even yet having a conversation so that when we do have a conversation, I'll kind of know, you know, what he's about. And I'm sure he did that same thing with regards to me. And so this is awesome. You have the opportunity to be able to do that because if you're in business, you want people to be able to know you. And also if you have a blog or a website, you can put an about me page. As I've always talked, any business out there have an about us or about the company or about me page. So you want to hone in on describing your story. Now also know that not everybody's going to relate to you and that's okay because the people who do relate to you and what you're about are the ones that are going to choose to interact with you and therefore you'll be interacting with people that you have a lot in common with and that's certainly a cool thing. So my hint to you today is to go out and update all those areas where you're online and any other areas that you want to add and put your profile on there. And then in your email signature line, add a link to those so that people will be able to see that every time you send out an email, they can click on and see what you're into. You know, McDonald's arches weren't immediately recognizable. It took over and over and over again of implanting that like so many logos and people now, they know the arches when they see them and they know what they stand for. It's not the best burger, but it's consistent. You know that when you are going to go into McDonald's, what you're going to get, you know what it's going to get. It may not be the best burger. It might be the best fries, but it may not be the best burger, but you know what you're going to get. And they are consistent in telling their story. So be consistent in telling your story and getting it out there. If this video helped you, and I hope it did, please comment and share. And thank you so much for tuning in. Jan Johnson, thejanjohnson.com.